So the next Visual C Sharp program we're going to create is a matching game. And this matching game is kind of fun. It has 16 different tiles that when you click on them, they flip over. And if they match, they stay up. And if they don't, they turn over. And um, it has, a, every time you start it, a, a random uh, organization of the tiles so that you get a different game every time. It's really fun to play. So to get started, we want to set up our form. So I have a Windows Forms app, and before we go any farther, let's go ahead and change the name of our form. I'm going to call it FRM Match, and let's change the text on that form to be. Um, let's change the text on the form to be maybe something like Matching Game. Notice that the text changes what the user sees and the name changes what you see as the programmer. So we do a few things to this. Uh, we want this to be square. So let's just set it to be 550 by 550. And let's go ahead and add in a container. Now to organize our tiles, we're gonna use a container called uh, a table layout panel. So down under containers in your toolbox, let's bring out a table layout panel, bring that onto the screen. And we can go ahead, we're going to have 16 uh, columns. So let's go ahead and uh, add two columns and add two rows. So you can see that that's there. Um, as we bring this into here, we can see how this looks. Um, we can get this thing centered. So you can see I have table, uh, table layout panel over here. Uh, let's go to this dock property here. And you can see that under the dock property, I want to set that so it sets it to the middle. And I can see how that uh, sets that so it's sort of centered in the screen. Um, I also want to set it so that my columns and rows are even. And so I can set this edit columns and rows. And so when I do that, I can come in here and set you know, each of these to be 25%. And do the same thing uh, to my rows. Set each of those to 25%. So I should have a nice even grid of 16. There's a few other things I can change in here. I'd like to change the color. So that's under this this back color here. And we're going to choose under web this cornflower blue. Let's come back into here. And that's about toward the bottom here. And there we go. And I'd like to change the cell border style to inset. And that makes it look really, really nice like that. So we have our table set up. And now to this, we're going to add in uh, labels. for. We're actually going to use text for our objects. They're going to be graphics because we're going to use a WebDings uh, font, which will have graphics, but we can randomize that a lot easier when we set that up. So making sure that this is selected, you can see that under my properties it says table layout panel, and so not my form is selected. I want to come back and add in a label. So I'm just going to double click on that label, and let's go ahead and change that to just be a letter. I'll do a capital A, and we're going to set the font of that so that it is a WebDings. So if you come into here and click on the ellipses next to font, we'll bring that up. Let's come down here to uh, WebDings, and let's maybe make that bold, and we'll pump up the size of that maybe to 48. So you can see what that looks like there. You can see that graphic. Um, we also want to set this to the middle. So let's set the dock of it to be to the middle. And then there's also a 
alignment for our text that we can set. So text align, and we want that to be in the middle as well. So that should center that, and you get that the way that you want. So that'll get that organized. Let's call our label LBL card. And once we have that set the way that we want, let's just make sure that that's selected. And let's do a control C, and then we'll just hit control V until all of these are filled in. So that's the setup. And once we have that set the way that we want, let's make sure that we save that, it's ready to go. And the next thing that we're gonna be doing is creating our scripts that will allow us to uh, randomize the values that we see up on the screen. We'll fill these all, we'll have obviously eight pairs of cards, and then we wanna start looking at what happens when uh, we click on them to be turning them over, and finally, we'll get it to where we match them. All right, good luck.